This STEM Quick Win is sponsored by Evolution. Have you ever heard someone say it's hot enough to cook an egg on the sidewalk? Well today, we're going to be using the power of a sun and a solar cooker we build to be able to cook our very own food. Solar ovens use solar energy, the light and heat emitted from the sun, to cook food, pasteurize water, or even sterilize instruments. Solar ovens are in use worldwide, providing a fuel-free and smoke-free way to cook, bake, and decontaminate water. And they're especially helpful in remote and poor regions of the world. Let's join our STEM kids in creating our very own solar cooker. Step one, on the top of the pizza box lid, draw a square that's about one inch inward from each page. Step two, use scissors to carefully cut along each side of the square you just drew, except for the side that runs along the hinge of the box. Cut all the way through the cardboard on those three sides of the square. Then fold the flap back slightly along the attached side. Adult assistance may be needed. Step three, line up the inside of the cardboard flap with aluminum foil and tape the foil to the flap. Keep the foil as smooth as possible. Step four, cover the opening made by the flap in the lid with a layer of plastic wrap. Attach the plastic wrap to the opening's edge using tape. Make sure there are no holes in the plastic wrap and that all its edges are completely closed into the lid. Step five, line the inside of the box with aluminum foil so that when you shut the box, the entire interior is co coated with foil. It is easiest to do this by covering the bottom of the box with foil, then covering the inside part of the lid, going around the plastic covered opening it with foil too. Tape the foil in place. Step six, tape a sheet of black paper to the bottom of the box centered there. Step seven, lastly use popsicle sticks and some tape to prop the solar oven's lid up about a 90 degree angle from the rest of the box. Your solar oven is ready to do some cooking. Sadly, it wasn't sunny enough and it was slightly too cold for us to test our solar cooker. A nice sunny day that's above 75 degrees Fahrenheit is recommended. And the hotter the better. To test it, just set your solar cooker out in the sun and as you wait, whatever you put on the inside will slowly heat up. Try making s'mores like we did. We hope you enjoyed making a solar cooker of your very own, and we'd love to see the ones you make and what you cook in it. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to Evolution for sponsoring this STEM Quick Win.